Good morning. It is a beautiful morning in Southern Maryland. I'm uh, going to give you a, a corn update. We are going to uh, side dress corn today. We're going to put some uh, liquid nitrogen on, a 30% solution. Shooting for about uh, an additional 100 pounds of nitrogen on the corn. So this was the first corn we planted. Uh, oh, I don't even remember the date. I think it was about three weeks ago. Uh, unlike others in the area, I did not have to replant any. We hit it uh, just right in between rain showers. So I am filling the sprayer now with nitrogen so we can get this done. Uh, the forecast is uh, for rain showers this afternoon, so this is perfect uh, because we do not incorporate this nitrogen, so the rain will uh, help get this nitrogen down to the roots of the corn. And I uh, just got a 1,500-gallon tank with a gas motor, two inch hoses pumping into the sprayer that holds 500 gallons. Just a couple of notes uh, about this corn. I did go back and check my records. Uh, this corn has been planted four weeks. Um, it's not quite as tall as I'd like to have it to put on additional nitrogen. Uh, but I'm doing it now because we've got a small break in between planting soybeans and uh, wheat harvest. Uh, I do plan on starting the wheat harvest uh, by the end of this week. So I want to get this out of the way so we can go on and uh, get the wheat cut and uh, bale some straw. I am very pleased with the uh, wheat control I've got here. This is not Roundup Ready corn. Uh, this is just the plain old conventional stuff. Uh, so I just put down some atrazine and simazine um, right after the corn was planted. And uh, it uh, is very clean. There are one or two morning glories I see coming through. 
one or two lambs quarters, but uh, I think we'll be okay because this corn is about to shade the ground and so that will limit the uh, weed growth. So uh, very pleased with that. Uh, I had not planted any conventional corn the last three or four years. We were doing all Roundup ready, but uh, I just wanted to try a different mode of action with weeds. I mean, this is the old school, what we, uh, this is the way we used to do it with just some atrazine and uh, princep. Uh, some people use bicep. You just put that down uh, right after you plant the corn before it comes up. Uh, you hope for a rain within a day or two after that in order to get that chemical in the ground and get it activated. So that did happen this year. So uh, I will not, at this point, I will not have to come back over the top uh, with another uh, weed control. I have had a terrible problem with groundhogs on this farm. Uh, you may have seen uh, the previous video when we planted uh, the corn. Uh, I had some groundhogs, a baby groundhog, I think I showed on one of the videos. Uh, so far, I have not run across an active groundhog hole. That is quite surprising. We did work uh, on them two years ago, trying to get rid of them. When we came up here and tilt this ground uh, to put corn in this spring, we did see some active holes. Uh, but at this point, I'm not seeing them. So I'm not quite sure where they went to. The sun is uh, trying to come out. Um, we had a few sprinkles earlier this morning. And uh, we do have a chance of rain this afternoon and rain a chance tomorrow again and again on Friday. Uh, it is quite cloudy. Uh, low humidity. I'm looking across the bay and I can see um, I can see the island, uh, oh hell, what is that island across the bay? I should know it, but I don't. But in the middle of the summer, when it is humid uh, and hazy, you cannot see the island across the bay, but today it is very clear. A little bit rough out there, I have seen one crab boat. Uh, but there is a breeze going, uh, so it is a little bit... Uh, bit of chop on the bay today. And maybe you'll get a quick peek as I turn around here out to the bay. That's all for now. See ya!